my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a moss wall like this one behind me. moss wall isn't that it's so beautiful but it's that there is plastic underneath it um, which would have ended up in the environment maybe some animals would have tried to eat it and choked and died it would have ended up somewhere that it shouldn't be um, but instead it's on my wall I kind of took a little bit of time to make this wall and I had people coming over it was just this big green like piece of like felt material with a whole bunch of like garbage stuck to it like bottles pieces of plastic like really random things plastic bags all kinds of things and everyone was like what is this like why do you have garbage on your wall i was like it's gonna look really cool just wait and see basically this started off as um a bunch of plant pockets so i ordered it off of amazon and i bought a whole bunch of different plants like spider plants a couple of different ivies and uh, I was really disappointed because it's the focal point of my living room. I just wanted this big, beautiful, you know, piece of art. And then it was dying and I was upset. I didn't know what to do. Actually, I was at Beachwood Donuts in St. Catharines. You guys should go there. It's amazing. I might do a video reviewing their donuts because they're incredible. I crave them every single day. I'm not even joking. That's how amazing they are. Um, so anyways, I went in there. I was getting my favorite donuts, the birthday cake ones. And they had this big moss wall. Uh, it's made by, I think it's called the watering can. I'll tag them too. So that's where I saw the idea and I got inspired, but obviously single mom here trying to do things on a budget. So I was like, I can make that myself. Basically most of this moss is from the dollar store. I actually went into my grandma's garden and she has uh, some moss growing on the floor and I just like scraped it off with my fingers. in the sun and then I super glued it on here and the greener moss like this one the brighter green I got from a lady secondhand um, Facebook marketplace it's great I love it this lady has an event uh, company and I guess didn't need it so I got like four big boxes of it for an amazing price so now I can just make a whole bunch of crafts with it. I was so excited. So there's two mushrooms over there. Uh, I found them foraging with my boys in the forest and I really wanted to save them for some art because it was just such an exciting time. We can find mushrooms, but we couldn't eat them, but it's okay, I put them in this, in this uh, moss wall. I went to Value Village, which is a thrift store. You can go any, to any thrift store. And I bought a bunch of frames. They were like such good prices. Like some of them were like $1.99, $2.99 and yeah that's really all you need a frame um or if you're trying to do what i did here you could even just like use a big old like quilt kind of thing but it like when you if you ever have to move it and stuff like that's what, a frame is easier just use a frame a picture frame and um yeah use a picture frame i'll show you guys
taking off those uh, Play-Doh uh, containers because it's such a small little like workspace. Um, it was just too many bumps with the plastic bags, but when you're making something this big, you can throw in a bunch of different things like that. But I want you guys to see it from. The best part about this is you get the effect of having plants, like the greenery, but no maintenance. like my video please subscribe let me know what else you want to see